The year is 1984. Rising to the top by Kenny Burke blasts from the DJ's booth as Tyler McCoy glides through the Red Moon Soul Club, turning heads with every stride along the Crimson Hallway. His recent ex-flame, Libby, is there too, the winner of an all-expenses-paid evening with heatwave singer Keith Wilder after being surprised by the producer of the hit radio show Killer Groove earlier that day. The excited Miss Ventura County 1983 beauty queen is disappointed when she arrives at the VIP booth and sees her last boyfriend sitting on the red sofa instead of the dreamy soul star. However, Tyler's charm soon win her over and the complimentary champagne is equally as disarming. As the up-tempo groove reverberates around the bean bread walls, Tyler pours the last drops from the champagne bottle and leans in to kiss Libby, already sitting tightly against him on the sofa. Smiling club goers of all persuasions show off their dance moves to the bass-driven funk and brutal violence appears to be the last vibration on anyone's mind tonight. A beautiful waitress gathers empty glasses and a filled ashtray from the VIP booth and, with a clear hint of jealousy, watches Tyler leave the club with his light-headed ex-girlfriend. Tyler, a sought-after session bassist for LA Recording Studios, convinces Libby to share a final drink and escorts her to his converted Dodge camper van at the far end of the car park its new metallic purple paint job sparkling under the clear moonlit sky. She sits on a beanbag in the back of the van, her anxious face illuminated by the red interior light as Tyler puts on Supernatural Thing Parts 1 and 2 by Ben E. King, released in 1975, and offers her sparkling wine in a cup. The blood splatters across the transparent sheeting covering every inch of the van's walls and ceiling. Tyler calmly wipes Libby's blood from his face and hand scythe and starts wrapping her body in the plastic sheeting. And so begins the killing spree of Tyler McCoy, the second of five ex-girlfriends he plans to slay. While Libby was Tyler's first planned kill, she was actually the second ex-girlfriend to die at his hands that week. Days earlier, Kay was accidentally killed during a drunken fling at his house, and her weighed down body accompanies Libby's at the bottom of Santa Clara River. Meanwhile, three former girlfriends are unaware that they're about to receive a call from the producer of Killer Groove, offering an all-expenses paid evening with their favourite soul singer. Supernatural. Killer Groove. A slasher movie with soul. Featuring 70s and 80s dance floor fillers by Change, D-Train, Donald Bird, Earth, Wind & Fire, Clear, Stevie Wonder and many more. I'm so possessed by 